welcome back to another Filipino language lesson here on Talk to Me in Tagalog. In this video, we will study another group of Tagalog verbs, which is the um verbs. Um verbs are also doer-focused verbs, just like the mag verbs. If you're new to this channel and you haven't seen our mag verbs lessons, please click on the link below or you may also want to check out our Tagalog verbs playlist to learn more about them. Here are the two simple rules on how to form the infinitive and past aspect or the past tense of um verbs. If the verb root starts with a vowel, simply put um before the verb root. Again, if it starts with a vowel, just remember um plus verb root. You will learn more about it in our examples later. Our second rule is, if the verb root starts with a consonant, just insert um after the first letter of the verb root. Don't be confused, it's very simple. Again, if it starts with a consonant, the rule is first letter of the verb root plus um plus verb root. These two rules apply to both the infinitive form and past aspect of the um verbs. Let's now apply the rules in our examples. We have here five verb roots which start with vowels. Remember our rule, um plus verb root. Our first verb root is inom, inom, which means drink. Inom starts with an I. So to form the infinitive, just add um before inom. Uminom, uminom, meaning to drink. To form the past aspect, it's the same. Just add um before inom, uminom, uminom, meaning drank. Next, we have alis, alis, meaning leave. Alis starts with an A, so the infinitive form is umalis, umalis, meaning to leave. The past aspect is umalis, umalis, left. Uwi, uwi, meaning go home. It starts with a U, so the infinitive form is umuwi, umuwi, meaning to go home. The past tense is umuwi, umuwi, meaning went home. Akyat, akyat, meaning ascend or go up. Infinitive form. Umakyat, umakyat, meaning to ascend or to go up. The past tense is the same, umakyat, umakyat, went up. Next verb root is iyak, iyak, meaning cry. Iyak starts with an I, so we add um, umiyak, umiyak, meaning to cry. And the past tense is the same. Umiyak, umiyak, cried. Now we will go over some verb roots that start with consonants. Do you remember our simple rule for consonants? First letter of the verb root plus um plus the verb root. Our first example is gamit, gamit, meaning use. But as a noun, the word gamit means thing as in mga gamit ko, meaning my personal things. But in this example, we will look at gamit as a verb root, meaning use. To form the infinitive, we will insert um after the letter G, which is the first letter of gamit. So it will become gumamit, gumamit, meaning to use. The same goes for the past aspect, gumamit, gumamit which means used. Our next verb root is sigaw. Sigaw, meaning scream. To form the infinitive, just insert um after the letter S. Sumigaw. Sumigaw, meaning to scream. And the past aspect is also sumigaw. Sumigaw, screamed. Tulong. Tulong meaning help. 
infinitive form, tumulong, tumulong, meaning to help. Past aspect, tumulong, tumulong, meaning helped. Luhod, luhod, meaning kneel. Infinitive form, lumuhod, lumuhod, meaning to kneel. Past aspect, lumuhod, lumuhod, meaning knelt. Next, sunod, sunod, meaning follow or abide by the rule. Infinitive form, sumunod, sumunod, meaning to follow. Past aspect, sumunod, sumunod, followed. Here are some common sentence patterns that you may use with um verbs. Verb, noun marker, doer or subject of the sentence, preposition or object marker, then the object of the preposition, and the time word or the rest of the sentence. For example, uminom si kashif ng buko juice kahapon. Uminom si kashif ng buko juice kahapon. Since the time word is kahapon, which means yesterday, you should know right away that this sentence is in the past tense. So our verb at the beginning is also in the past aspect. Uminom. Uminom. C is the proper noun marker for the doer or subject who is kashif, while nang is the object marker of buko juice. So uminom si kashif ng buko juice kahapon means... Kashif drank buko juice yesterday. Our next example is, Umiyak ang anak ni Marge kanina. Umiyak ang anak ni Marge kanina. Kanina means earlier, so again, this sentence happened in the past. So our verb is in the past aspect. Umiyak. Umiyak, meaning cried. Ang is the object marker of anak, meaning son or child. And ni is the marker for Marge. Umiyak ang anak ni Marge kanina. Marge's son cried earlier. Our last example is very easy. Umalis si na Mark at Juni. Umalis si na Mark at Juni. Umalis means left. Sina is the noun marker for two or more people, which in this case are Mark and Juni. Umalis si na Mark at Juni kanina. This sentence implies that Mark and Juni left to go somewhere else. You don't have to worry too much about these sentence patterns. Just use them merely as a guide so you can freely form Tagalog sentences. Let's now use in a sentence all the verb roots that we learned earlier. We will have two sets in every slide. The first sentence is the infinitive form and the second is the past aspect. Kailangan ko nang umuwi kasi gabi na. Kailangan ko nang umuwi kasi gabi na. Kailangan means need. Ko is I. Umuwi is to go home. Kasi means because. And gabi is night or in this case, gabi na means already late. Kailangan ko nang umuwi kasi gabi na. I need to go home now because it's already late. Umuwi na si Mary Flor kaninang hapon. Umuwi na si Mary Flor kaninang hapon. Umuwi means went home, na is already, kanina is earlier, and hapon is afternoon. Umuwi na si Mary Flor kaninang hapon. Mary Flor already went home this afternoon. Infinitive form, dapat kang umakyat sa bubong para makita mo ang mga paputok. Dapat kang umakyat sa bubong para makita mo ang mga paputok. Dapat means need to or have to. Ka is you, umakyat is to climb up, bubong means roof or rooftop, para is uh, to be able to, makita is to see, mo means you, and mga paputok means fireworks or fireworks display. Dapat kang umakyat sa bubong para makita mo ang mga paputok. You need to climb up the roof to see the fireworks display. Past aspect. Umakyat sa puno si Jasvir para kunin ang saranggola. Umakyat sa puno si Jasvir para kunin ang saranggola. 
Umakyat means climbed up. Puno is a tree. Para means two. Kunin is to get. Ang is a the. And saranggola means kite. Umakyat sa puno si Jasbir para kunin ang saranggola. Jasbir climbed up the tree to get the kite. Infinitive form, huwag kang sumigaw, natutulog si Hadi, baka magising siya. Huwag kang sumigaw, natutulog si Hadi, baka magising siya. Huwag means don't, ka is you, sumigaw is to yell or to scream, natutulog means sleeping, baka is may or might, magising is to wake up, and siya means he or him. Huwag kang sumigaw, natutulog si Hadi, baka magising siya. Do not yell, Hadi is sleeping, you might wake him up. Past aspect, sumigaw ako ng malakas pero hindi mo ako narinig. Sumigaw ako ng malakas pero hindi mo ako narinig. Sumigaw means uh, screamed, ako is I, malakas is loudly, pero means but, hindi is not, mo is you, and narinig means Heard. Sumigaw ako ng malakas pero hindi mo ako narinig. I screamed out loud but you did not hear me. Infinitive form, oras na para uminom ka ng gamot. Oras na para uminom ka ng gamot. Oras means time, uminom means to drink but in this sentence it means to take. Ka means you and gamot is medicine. Oras na para uminom ka ng gamot. It's time for you to take medicine. Past aspect, tapos na, uminom na ako ng gamot kanina. Tapos na, uminom na ako ng gamot kanina. Tapos na means done, uminom means took, na is already, and kanina means earlier. Tapos na, uminom na ako ng gamot kanina. Done, I already took my medicine earlier. Infinitive form, Nagpasya kaming tumulong sa mga nasunugan sa Maynila. Nagpasya kaming tumulong sa mga nasunugan sa Maynila. Nagpasya means decided. Kami is we. Tumulong is to help. Nasunugan is fire victims. Nagpasya kaming tumulong sa mga nasunugan sa Maynila. We decided to help those victims of fire in Manila. Past aspect, tumulong ka ba sa pagluluto noong fiesta? Tumulong ka ba sa pagluluto noong fiesta? Tumulong means helped. Ka is you. Pagluluto means cooking or food preparation. And noong is during. Tumulong ka ba sa pagluluto noong fiesta? Did you help cook during the fiesta? Infinitive form, lumuhod ka para maabot mo ang papel sa ilalim ng mesa. Lumuhod ka para maabot mo ang papel sa ilalim ng mesa. Lumuhod is to kneel down. Maabot is to reach. Mo is you. Papel means paper. Ilalim is uh, under. And mesa means table. Lumuhod ka para maabot mo ang papel sa ilalim ng mesa. Kneel down to reach the paper under the table. Past aspect, lumuhod si Ria para inspeksyonin ang mga gulong. Lumuhod si Ria para inspeksyonin ng mga gulong. Lumuhod means knelt down, inspeksyonin is to inspect, and mga gulong means tires. Lumuhod si Ria para inspeksyonin ang mga gulong. Ria knelt down to inspect the tires. Infinitive form, mahirap bang sumunod sa batas? Mahirap bang sumunod sa batas? Mahirap means difficult. Sumunod is to abide and batas is law. Mahirap bang sumunod sa batas? Is it difficult to abide by the law? Past aspect, hindi sumunod si Tony sa utos ng tatay niya. Hindi sumunod si Tony sa utos ng tatay niya. Hindi means not or did not. Sumunod is followed. Utos means order or instruction. Tatay means father and niya means his. Hindi sumunod si Tony sa utos ng tatay niya. Tony did not follow his father's instruction. Infinitive form, dapat umalis tayo ng bahay ng maaga para hindi tayo mahuli sa trabaho. Dapat umalis tayo ng bahay ng maaga para hindi tayo mahuli sa trabaho. 
Dapat means should. Umalis is to leave. Tayo means we. Bahay is house. Maaga is early. Hindi is not. Mahuli is to be late. And trabaho means work. Dapat umalis tayo ng bahay ng maaga para hindi tayo mahuli sa trabaho. We have to leave the house early so we won't be late for work. Past aspect, umalis na sa Queensland si Maria. Umalis na sa Queensland si Maria. Umalis means left, na is already. Umalis na sa Queensland si Maria. Maria has already left Queensland. Infinitive form, kailangan mong gumamit ng potholder para hindi ka mapaso. Kailangan mong gumamit ng potholder para hindi ka mapaso. Kailangan means need, mo is you, gumamit is to use, hindi is not, and mapaso is to get burned. Kailangan mong gumamit ng potholder para hindi ka mapaso. You need to use a potholder to avoid getting burned. Past aspect, gumamit ang manging isda ng lambat para manghuli ng isda. Gumamit ang manging isda ng lambat para manghuli ng isda. Gumamit means used. Manging isda is a fisherman. Lambat is net. Manghuli is to catch. And isda is fish. Gumamit ang manging isda ng lambat para manghuli ng isda. The fisherman used a net to catch fish. Infinitive form, huwag kang umiyak, mamamaga ang mga mata mo. Huwag kang umiyak, mamamaga ang mga mata mo. Huwag means don't and umiyak means to cry. Mamamaga is uh, will get swollen or get puffy and mga mata is eyes. Huwag kang umiyak, mamamaga ang mga mata mo. Don't cry, your eyes will get puffy. Past aspect, umiyak si Jay nang malaman niyang nawala ang tuta niya. Umiyak si Jay nang malaman niyang nawala ang tuta niya. Umiyak means cried, malaman is found out, niya means his, nawala is uh, gone missing, and tuta means puppy. Umiyak si Jay nang malaman niyang nawala ang tuta niya. Jay cried when he found out that his puppy has gone missing. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Salamat po!